So hello guys and welcome back to Android game development series in Unity 3D. So in the previous videos we have learned how to install the Unity and how to create our first project and how to add the sprites. So in this video we are going to learn how to create a simple game in Unity 3D within 15 minutes. So what we are going to do we are just going to add some physics, movements and jumps to the sprites we just have added in the previous video. So in this video we will design this scene of game and we will add some gravity movement to this character. So let me show you the final output of this game. So you can see here our sprite has gravity and it is fallen down and it is moving and jumping across the different hurdles. And in the same way, it may fallen down. So are you excited? Me too. Let's start the session. So if you are new to our channel, then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel because we have been bringing a lot of free courses, material and content for you. Stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So guys we have launched the unity and we are going to create our new project the game project for uh, making the bird game and we will select the 2d template and write the name as my first game and we are okay with the location and click create button so unity will take some time to make this project ready for the development let's wait a while So okay guys our project is ready let me exit the project and we have to check that either we have installed the visual studio in unity 3d packages because without visual studio this tutorial will not be possible so for the moment let me exit it and let me launch again the unity hub and from here we have to go to the installs and we have to add the modules and from here you can install the VL Studio if you have not installed in your PC. So let me check. I have the VL Studio 2019 already installed here. If you do not have installed the Microsoft VL Studio, you can check it and click next and it will automatically download and install the VL Studio community 2019 for you. Now let me open my project again. So okay guys as discussed we have one default game object present here it is the main camera. So now it's the time to create the game scene and I already have created the game assets and images. So I will provide the link in the description you can also download that images and assets from the description. So let me show you the game scenes objects we have a rod we have a grassland and we have a bird object here. So now we have to import these images as a sprite into our project but before that let me click on asset and from here create the folder and name it as sprite so that it will contain all the sprites of our game. Now click the three objects click and drag these objects into this sprite folder and boom all images sprite has been added in our project. So now simply click and drag these objects into our game. So let me zoom in the scene. So for this you will have to hold the alt key and right click and drag your mouse. So that you can place all sprites precisely. Select the hand tool and let's drag it. And now select this rec tool to resize it. You can take any size. So now let drag the bird object from here and place it here. And in the same way, let me put the grassland here. Let me resize it so that it may be accumulated into game. And in the same way, 
put another grassland instance and place it here so guys the scene is ready now let's play this game and as you can see here we we are seeing no movement here let me add the movement but before that let me take the full space and you can take all the space present in this rectangle and it will be shown into the scene of the game you can desize it and take multiple distance here and let me play again so guys now it's looking fine so let me add the physics to these game objects and there are already ready-made scripts present in the unity 3d and you can use it without reinventing the wheel to elaborate this let me select this character and from the component and from the physics 2d we have a lot of physics scripts already present in the unity tool so i am going to select the rigid body and it will add the gravity to this game object let me play it you can see here now my character has gravity and it is fallen down so we have to avoid the fallen down from this sprite for this i will also add the collider here and we have to select the both collider here and you can see here we have added two scripts to this character one is digital body and second one is the box collider and ultimately we will also have to give it as a box collider now these two sprites will collide to each other and will hold each other let me play it so you can see here now our object has gravity and it has landed on the surface of this sprite and in the same way we will also provide the box collider to these other objects and boom the box collider script also has been applied to all these objects and make, make sure you do not provide the rigid body to these scripts otherwise it will be fallen down now let me play it it is successfully fallen on the surface in the same way when i am going to pick it and drop here and again play the game now it is fallen here and in the same way i will also do the same for the third sprite so guys now it's time to add the movement to this character for this i will have to write my own script and it is very easy to write the script here and you can see a massive impact on the game for this i will go into the asset and from here click on create and create a new folder and write it name as scripts so now we will have to add our own script here and from the create select this c sharp script and name this script as bird player so now it's time to edit this script and by editing this script we, we can be able to add the movement to this bird object double click on this script and it is launching the visual studio 2019 So guys unity has provided a template of code here and you can see the two functions the one is the start and the second one is the update the difference between these two function is that the start function is called only once at the start of the game and when the sprite is created in the scene whereas the update is keep on calling itself throughout the game and it is calling at a high speed so if you want to give the movement or if you want to change the location of the object so you can code in this function so we are going in a while let's do it 
so for this let's write the private rigid body instance here so if you are not seeing this intellisense you can check out my video i will provide in the description so that you can also enable your intellisense in the vl studio via the unity 3d so as we already know that this start function is called itself only once throughout the game when the scene is created and when the sprite is introduced so so we have taken the instance of rigid body because we have provided the rigid body script to our bird game character so now let's change the velocity of this rigid body we are going to change the vector of this game character and vector is the x and y coordinates so let me give the speed of 1 so save the script press ctrl plus s button and it is saved now come back to the unity and you can see here unity 3d is reloading the script now select this character and from here add the component from the script select this script of bird player now our script is allocated to this bird character in the same way you can add this script to any object on which you want to uh, expect the same behavior so let me build and play the button and you can see here my character is continually moving because this update function is calling itself again and again and we are changing the x coordinate at a very high speed so in the same way we can change the speed let me select the 5 save this script and come back to the unity 3d and now let's play this again and this time you are seeing a fast speed here so it is the best practice to declare a public variable to edit or change the speed rather than hard coding it in the script for this i will declare a public object call it as movement speed and write it here save the script and come back to the unity and select this character and go to its script and we are seeing here the bird player script and you can see here our movement speed object is being declared here now when i'm going to give it a zero value i'm going to play it and you can see our character is not moving because its movement speed is zero here now give the speed of 2 and again play the game and you can see here you are witnessing some speed and this time the speed is changed so you have seen a great way of exposing our public variable into our unity 3d inspector panel so now we are going to control this object with the help of keys so for the moment we are going to control its movement either in the right direction or in the left direction with the help of left or right arrow on our keyboard for this we will have to go into the code and we know that this update function is calling itself again and again and we are going to check it here so if the user has pressed uh, the left key on the keyboard i will write the if So we have checked here when the user has pressed the left key and its x coordinates is going into the negative direction because it is going on the left direction so in the same way if user has pressed the right key so its x coordinate should be the positive value so guys let me summarize if the user has pressed the left arrow key the movement speed or the movement direction will be in the negative way and uh, it will move into the left direction and if the user had pressed the right key 
its movement speed will have the positive value and it will go into the right direction. So save it by pressing the Ctrl plus S button and come back to the Unity and our script is already loaded here. And from here, keep the speed of two and play the game. You can see here our object is landed. When I'm going to press the right arrow, you can see my object is moving in the right direction. And in the same way, if I'm going to press the left arrow on the keyboard, it is going on the left direction. Oh, boom, it's fallen down. So guys, up till now we have added successfully the movement to this object. It's time to add uh, the jump so that this bird character will jump on these grasslands. So we are going to introduce the jumps by pressing uh, the space button here. For this, I will write the code, same code here. So by pressing the space, we have to fix the x-axis movement and we have to change the y-axis so that the bird character will jump along the y-axis. So higher the value and the jump will be higher. Let me introduce a public variable so that it will be exposed into our inspector of Unity 3D. For the moment, let's call it jump height. And now save this script by pressing the Ctrl plus S button. And our script is being reloaded into Unity 3D. So guys, you can see here, now our jump height is also here. For the moment, I will add the value of five. And by pressing the space button, its jump height will be five unit. Let me press it. So when I'm going to press the space button, you can see here my character is jumping and when I'm going to double press it and it is moving bigger height. In the same way, if I'm going to give its value as 10, now play it. This time by pressing the space button, you are seeing higher jump. So we are okay with the five unit and play the game. So when I'm going to press the right key, it is moving rightward. And when I'm going to press the space button, it is jumping. And again, pressing the space button and right key, it is moving into the forward direction in the same way by pressing the left key it is going into the left direction so in the upcoming video we will uh, control its stability and we will add more control to this character but for the moment it was a simple game you just have successfully created and by moving into the left direction it will fall down and the level will be finished it's game over so guys hope you have enjoyed the video it surely have given you some confidence to create your own game so you have seen that how it is simple to make and create your own game so this is enough for this session see you in next video